Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanis. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to based entertainment. We want to give you guys a fresh perspective on things, and I will see them. Today, we've got a hell of a show for you guys. But before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit all notifications on the channel to be notified the second we publish our content so you don't miss out. Let me get into this uh, topic here. So there have been people out there that have been complaining about sports media in terms of the coverage of certain teams and them not covering other teams. Um, and to a certain extent, there is some truth to this. Uh, you know that in uh, media, they're going to talk about Stephen Curry. They're going to talk about the Warriors. They're going to talk about the Lakers. They're going to talk about LeBron. They may sprinkle in a few other players like Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo here and there, Damian Lillard. They may throw the Clippers in there once in a while and maybe talk about the Boston Celtics occasionally. Now, sometimes they talk about Anthony Edwards. Occasionally, they will talk about Victor Wimbanyama. Uh, so what happened yesterday, uh, <clears throat> they were reacting to the big shot that Kyrie Irving made, which was a Kyrie Irving shot, to be totally honest with you. Absolutely incredible shot. Um, so they were talking about that on Get Up. And then, of course, some way, somehow, they had to find a way to force feed the Lakers down, the Lakers and Warriors down the throats of uh, NBA fans. So they were speaking to Jay Williams. So at first, Jay Williams answered the first few questions and then. They got to the next part where they brought up the Lakers. And they were essentially like, well, do you think the Lakers and the Warriors are going to be any good? He was like, nah, I don't really think so. So he answered the question. Then he thought it was done. And then he was still, as, as he was talking, the person that was speaking to him brings it up again. And you could visibly see in Jay Williams start to get a little bit irritated. Like, I number one, I just answered your question. Number two, I given you my answer and you're trying to get a different answer out of me so we can continue talking. He's like, I, I've given you my answer. What else do you want from me, bro? So for those of you who didn't catch that segment, I uh, want to quickly play it for you now and then come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what Jay Williams had to say here. Who do you have more confidence in? I think the flip the switch when we talk about uh, the postseason run. Is it Steph or is it LeBron? I would probably just say because of their size and the way they can defend, uh, depending upon AD, I would say the Lakers. But I, I don't have supreme confidence in either team. Once mm -hmm. again, I have confidence in the brand name players. You have confidence in Steph to be prolific. You have confidence in LeBron James. So at this age to play at a high level, but the makeup of the teams are the things that concern you the most. We're always going to talk about the Lakers. Yeah. We're always going to talk about the Warriors. But I was at the beginning of the year saying, I think the Warriors are a playing tournament team. And I got destroyed for it. And look where they are. The Lakers, too, with the way they play, like the makeup of their team ultimately. But LeBron James, at this stage of his career, is not the best case for him to be in for them to have a chance to win it. So when you talk about these marquee names, KD, Steph, LeBron, who's furthest away from getting another ring? Out of those guys. Ah, it's always safe. I mean, they're all furthest away. Yeah. They're all furthest away. Mm. I mean, uh, I, I think you're still waiting to see with Bradley Bill, KD, mm. and Devin Booker. They have to be prolific mm. offensively to make up the room for where they are defensively to have a chance. But I still think you have all these teams that are on the outside looking in. I'm not going to say one team is further away because they're all far away. Do you think from, from a league standpoint, because we all hey, hang on to these guys, are we not talking more about those young guys, Oklahoma City and all those other teams who are playing really well, but they don't get that national exposure like these guys get? Don't? Well, I mean, within basketball circles, we give them the national exposure. Yeah. And we talk about it. I, I think it's hard because people don't know as much about Shea Gilgis Alexander. People pay attention. They've heard the narrative around the Clippers for so long. They don't understand how many games Kawhi Leonard has played this year or what James Harden has been able to do or Russ's role that he's actually leaned into. So I think there are new emerging conversations even around the Pelicans that are exciting for internal basketball fans. I think external basketball fans just hear the legacy names and they wonder what's going on with these individuals. So you heard what Jay Williams had to say. Um, what are my thoughts on this? This is something that uh, a good amount of NBA fans complain about, which is why don't they talk about other teams? You've also heard certain players and former players talk about the fact that the NBA is not a good, and journalists as well, talk about how the NBA is not doing a good job of marketing some of his younger talent. Um, players like Anthony Edwards, of course, John Moran and these guys messed it up. But he messed it up for himself. Uh, you have Zion Williamson, who I just re uh, read, dropped 25 pounds since january that's an that's an excellent accomplishment uh kudos to him you got players like zion of course you have victor Wimbanyama. you have teams like the nicole uh what is it the denver nuggets you have um teams like the boston celtics and others and people like there are other things we can discuss right why are we spending so much time talking about so this is something that uh nba fans have definitely 
uh, complained about. Will it stop? No. The reason I don't believe it will stop is because, as I said on the other show today, these these guys talk about these things because it generates uh, ratings. Now, ultimately, what's going to what's going to happen is the NBA is going to eventually need to find a way to move on, right? Because Stephen Curry will eventually retire. The Kevin Durant of the world, they will retire. LeBron James of the world, of the world, he will retire, and you got to find someone else to market the game. Now, if I'm looking at the landscape in terms of players that can market the game, Anthony Edwards is definitely one of them. I think if John Morant's mind was right and he wasn't, you know, doing those stuff to get himself these self-inflicting injuries, he could be someone that could definitely uh, propel the game forward. Uh, of course, you have Victor Wembanyama, who's definitely going to be the future uh of the nba no doubt about it um these are the guys that can push the game forward obviously there are probably some players that i'm not thinking of at the moment but these are the guys we should spend more time uh discussing now will the nba do that it remains to be seen but do i think they're going to stop talking about it no because the whole conversation has turned into whether or not the warriors and the what is it the warriors and the, the 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 Phoenix Suns and the Lakers are going to make the playoffs. Uh, frankly, I don't care. If I if you had to ask me out of those three teams, which one would I want to see in the playoffs? I'd probably say the Phoenix Suns. Why the Phoenix Suns? Because I think they're a lot. They are a lot of they are a lot of fun to watch with their offensive players with KD, Devin Booker, especially the show that Devin Booker put on last year in the playoffs with Bradley Beal. I think they'll be the more entertaining team. Obviously, the Lakers would be entertaining. The Warriors would be entertaining. It would be nice to see them. Uh, as things currently stand, one of those teams is definitely going to miss. No, is it one? Let me see. I could be wrong. I think it's two or one. For sure, one or two. Yeah, if I look at the Western Conference standings right now, yeah, the Suns are in the eighth spot. The Lakers are in the ninth spot. The Warriors are in the tenth spot. I forgot how it works, but essentially, um, I forgot how it works. But I know like the upper teams play. I think yes, I think seven and eight play for the eighth seed, right? And whoever, I mean, the seventh seed, and whoever wins that game, let's say the Suns beat the Mavericks, then the Suns are the seven. Uh, and then the Warriors and the Lakers are going to play each other. And whoever gets eliminated plays the seventh seed to decide who gets the eighth seed. So the bottom two teams have to win two games and the top two uh, teams need to win one game to secure, secure the seventh seed. So just looking at the way it kind of maps out right now, the bottom three teams are the Suns, Lakers and the Warriors. So for sure, if things don't move uh, as it currently stands, one of those teams is going to be out. So it's either going to be the Lakers. It's either going to be, well, for sure, one of them are going to be gone. So it's either going to be the Lakers, the Warriors, or the Suns. Who has a higher percentage of being out is going to be the Lakers and the Warriors. Why do I say that? Well, I think about 14, 14 games left on the calendar. Uh, the Suns are three games ahead in the loss column. So they have 29 losses, whereas the Lakers and the Warriors have 32. So really, it's going to be between those two teams. So one of them is definitely going to be knocked out. And when they get knocked out, we got to figure out a new formula. The NBA has to figure out figure out a new uh, formula uh, moving forward. So these are my thoughts on this. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to do this. Uh, those that know will know. Really, bro? That's what you're posting with your ugly ass? You had the nerve to do that and then squint your eyes to be like you on some Denzel type of time? Son, put put them graphics back up with your ugly behind, man. Stop playing with us. <laughs> you think you cute. You're not cute. You don't even try it. Like, stop playing. I just had to throw that out there. Who knows? We'll know. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. And we catch you guys on the next episode. Y'all, I'm out. Peace.